if I'm a marketer and I know I need to increase my social media visibility, but I don't know how or where to begin, what would be the first thing you would tell me to do? Research is the first place I go to. So it's really looking at where you're getting traffic from and every company has a site. So I would begin there. I would really look at, is my audience coming from Facebook? Is it coming from Twitter? You know, are my users, customers, viewers tweeting? Are they, you know, where are they getting their information? I think that would provide a lot of information. I think that, you know, does every company, you know, does every company need to have a Facebook page? There are some consumer product goods or some programs that may feel that it's not appropriate for them. With so much going on digitally mm -hmm. in the consumer's life today, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now more than ever, how do you touch the consumer? Our creative is now focused more on engagement and really disrupting the experience, not obtrusively, but in a way where we're getting their attention. So, you know, the answer is, is that it's really using a space in the appropriate way. Facebook and, you know, social media is a huge part of that answer. You know, social is measured word of mouth. So it's really getting that one piece of content, that clip or whatever, whatever your asset is on Facebook and getting it spoken about and coming up with a Twitter strategy and, and you know, creating a hashtag, just create a hashtag. There's been a really loud call for better creativity in interactive advertising. Mm -hmm. um, what does creativity in interactive advertising mean to you and particularly within social media? It's technology at this point. It's really finding a way to innovate in the space and we're looking at, you know, putting Twitter feeds in advertising. Why should we do it? What does that mean? We love, you know, a, a strategy that is innovative, that's a first time opportunity. That's creative. That's doing something that hasn't been done. It's really innovation. It's really figuring out how to stand out in a crowd. And we've gotten over the notion of clicking on ads. We, you know, display is what it is. It's with the framework of, of every site, but it's not something that we assume a consumer will do and something they're not doing. Publishers need to innovate in their spaces. They really need to understand that, you know, ROS, it means nothing anymore. You know, I mean, you know, buying 70% of a website isn't really effective. It's owning that, that entryway, whatever it is, or it's really standing out in a crowd of, of ads, and we love to stand out at Bravo. What is the most important thing from your perspective as a marketer about the IAB? Well, first of all, I love the idea of anything that's focused on elevating a space and innovation. And it's, you know, at the end of the day, I think all of us getting in a room, I mean, today is the most important part. All of us allowing vendors to hear from the client, which they may not necessarily hear on a daily basis. It's really getting everyone together at a conference and, and talking about the ideas and putting them in a room with the people who are innovating in the space and making a difference and, and just not sort of letting every day pass by and actually having dedicated opportunities for people to strategize and get together and just really talk about what matters and to learn from each other. I mean, it's a simple thing, right, but to learn from each other.